Hello children. My hapon, where are you? Hello? Nine, I have nine. Hello. Hello, my hapon tanan. Okay, so to start, I am going to open my koan. I open ako ang attendance karon. Okay? Oi, I don't know how your response is this time. What? I already have three responses. I thought I closed this one kaganiha. Let me see. Abtik lagi kay mo mo attendance. Again ha, just like I told you, uh, na I time stamps ang inyong attendance. So, oh, look at that one. Na si, ako padakan. Wait, wait. Oh, so you can see it here na I time. Mao niyang actual time uh, when you logged in. And then, this part here is the time and the date that you that you typed in. So, like I said, kung manikas mo, lata gyapon mo kayo. So, ayaw lang panikas, ha? Alright, so somebody already timed in. Wala pa ko naghatag ang keyword. So, mao na advance na kayo mo. Anyway, you already have you already have the the link to the attendance. Uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Aha, wait. Gamay ha. Let me copy the link. Okay. And then I'm posting it as a comment. Yun. Yun. So, that's the link to the attendance. Yun. So, you can click on, on that. Good afternoon, Tanan. So, I do see your names now on, on the comments. There are 23 of you so far. So, that's the link to the attendance. Our keyword for the day. Jen. Okay, kung keyword, Jen. So, gusto ni mo, Jen. One word. Keyword. Okay, hatag nila. Huh? Stress. Okay. Keyword this afternoon is stress. Stress ang keyword. Katong mo nag-attendance, ayaw nag-attendance ang usap. Again, keyword for this afternoon sa atong attendance is stress. S-T-R-E-S-S. Alright? So, good afternoon. I'll just proceed directly. Ha? Like I said, okay. Uh, one of you, okay, asked me or called up my attention. I'm not sure if this is this class or the other class. I think ang third year na ako. Called up my attention nga. Conflict ko, no. I know because we moved our original sked to another. So, it's possible nga dunay habal. Uh, unless, of course, if we try to consider one one section, medyo okay ra. Okay? So, since nag-FB Live man ta, ang ato ang video feed is all basically already recorded. So, I'm not requiring you to attend my class. You can just watch it later. Attendance lang mo, and then you can watch it later when you are libre. Okay? So, daily issue kung dunay conflict. But I would really appreciate if you can be with me during sa ato ang chosen time. So, right now, nagkahilis na. Disi Otso, o may balik o disi Noibi. So, ang dami na lang po ninyo mag-load next time. Kung mag-hold tao klase. Just like with your other classes, aron di mo mga putol, ha? So, so far, ang nag-comment, at ang i-mention, be, shout-out, mula tag-blogger, ane, Salvador, Caritan, Vicente, Maing Hapon, Giselle, Samora, Silva, Merli, Aman, Hitutua, Arlon, Salamangka, Helbulingo, Lurie May, Marian, Dudetha May, Janril, Hurley, Adolfo De Luna, Jessica, Charvi, Adrian, or Adrian, Tutiel, Cirilo, Macmac, Justin, Jamaica, um, Colleen, Eric, Albert, Rexel, kisa pa man, si Chan Felix, si Mark Cueva, Arnold, Sereno Mondoyo, Rochilu, Ethel, uh, Jane, Jinaline, yun, sa taga na ta. Again ha, again ha, uh, this is our second semester na 
kabalo na mo ogon sa I hate na ko. I hate people who don't know how to follow instructions. So please, as much as possible, stick to the instructions. It will make all our lives easier. Okay? Para klaro. So one, dapat ang subject ninyo sa email, when you email your outputs to me, must follow the instruction that I gave you. Another, ang file names ninyo sa inyohang mga file, okay, must follow the instructions for the akong ihatag. We had a convention already o sa ato ang file naming convention. Another is, uh, last time when, when you did your uh, when you did your checkup test, uh, it's my fault, I did not specify, pero for those who took the extra mile, mas maayo nga ang pictures ninyo, you put it into one file para nga usare akong tanaw dili kay binagsaho na kung ukab ang inyong picture sa so next time ha on sa paman uh, yeah that's pretty much it Anya, kabalo naman mo na okay so sige a very brief review of what we had last last meeting last last meeting last week is nag answer ta o problems or check up test so uh, for letter a for example uh, it's basically a series of operations always remember ayaw limut limuti always remember nga for a series of operations m das atong follow di ba multiplication division addition subtraction mo na ang priority pero na ang raising to powers or extraction of roots mas una pagyud siya Okay? Unya, mas una pagyod ang operations inside symbols of grouping or parentheses or braces or brackets. Okay? So, ayun nagkalimti. If you don't know how to follow those set of rules, di yun mo kakuha o kiksakto ang answer. For each of these questions nga inyo ang gianseran before, usah nga answer ani di na mahitabo nga usahay mo ni usahay mo na as long as you are following the priorities. On sa itong priorities na ito? Uh, on sa itong priorities na ito, guys. So, first is uh, one operations inside symbols of grouping. Two uh, raising two powers and extraction of roots. Katong square root that will raise to the power 2, raise to the power 3. And third priority is addition. No, this is not 3. Fourth na na. Uh, multiplication. Multiplication and division. Dungan rani sila. And then fourth, addition and subtraction. Okay, again, operations inside symbols of grouping. Raising to powers and extraction of roots, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction. Money ang iyahang priorities. Sa symbols of grouping, okay, uh, start with the innermost symbol of. Ngano mo Symbol of. Okay. So, so you start with the innermost symbol of grouping. Okay. Ah, ay nagkalimti ha. Okay, so that's what we did with letter A. Uh, for sa fractions, kabalo na po mo, multiplication, addition, subtraction of fractions. Uh, basically, kung parihas o kuntahay, if we talk about multiplication of fractions or division of fractions, you just multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators to get the answer. It, it doesn't have to be uh, fractions having the same denominator or a common denominator. Okay, uh, For mixed numbers, mas maayo, it's easier to manipulate if you convert it first into an improper fraction before proceeding to multiplication or division. For division, moto, e interchange na itong numerator or denominator sa second na fraction and then proceed to multiplication. That's the easy explanation how to carry it out. How to carry it out. For addition and subtraction of fractions, diba? if you can still remember, we need to have 
a common denominator if possible ang least common denominator so after having the least common denominator we just add or subtract the numerators and then copy the denominators that's easy right so chicken kaya na elementary pa mo pero for sure ug exam ta mo sigurado na ay daghan nga gagmay scores ninyo okay so mo ni siya so we pretty much covered this one and then conversion sige mo questions ako on sa three main point na to na akong gi-raise sa inyo ha, sa conversion factors. Ha? It is called a unit conversion factor because it expresses the equality between two values. So, in this case, for example, the value here on the left side of the equation is equal to the value on the right side of the equation. If we divide the left side with the right side, it's basically equal to 1. That's why it's called a unit conversion factor. And then, you just use that either on right-hand side divided by the the left hand side or the left hand side divided by the right hand side i multiply na to sa given ng mga values for us to solve the required values sometimes we need to follow a couple of steps okay sige you type in the comments kuno unsay mahinumduman ninyo nga mga common nga mga conversion factors or unit conversion factors out of the blue lang kanang mahinumduman lang ninyo May it be volume, may it be length. Sige, pinaka-simple. Kanang di tamang okay because you don't need to memorize everything. After continuous use or constant nga gamit, after some time, ma-memorize na na to. Okay? So next time, when I will be giving examinations, for example, I am not requiring you, or rather, it doesn't mean na close notes kayo. May boy bantay na ko ninyo. So, but you don't have to memorize it. It's okay. Hectares. Pila man yung hectares? Para na ako, for me, I'm waiting for your comments, ha? I want you to type in sa comments any of the conversion factors that you memorized. And yeah, kung naan na, ayaw na, ug ibalik. Okay? Okay, so, ako na lang ni go over, hinay-hinay, some that, okay, 1,000 si Salvador, 1,000 ml is equal to 1 liter. That's correct. Uh, another one, sige ko no, ughuman na, ayaw na ibalik. Um, it, there's a little delay, ha? Okay, so please be wary of that. Uh, I'm I'm aware of, of the delay, so you should also be aware of the delay. Good afternoon, Fernando. Kanang mo, good afternoon, Karon. Mubot pa sa bot mo, may pagkabot sa pan. Okay, so hectares. Ang hectares... For me, the, the only thing or the first thing that I can remember is equal to 10,000 square meters. Ayaw kalimtina ha. I-convert na to into square kilometers. Mas sunod na ta level level na. 25 inches into centimeters. I know nga 25 inches or rather 1 inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. Okay. Miles, okay, 2.5 miles into kilometers. Ako ay memorized nga ang 1 mile is equal to 5,280 or 5,280 feet. Okay, ako lang ako i-type Okay, 1 hectare is equal to 10,000 meters squared. Okay, so not inches, one inch. Oh, by the way, by the way, do not I shorthand or symbols or abbreviations sa mga units. Ayaw mo pag both both ha. So for example, kini kang Salvador, ingon siya nga 1,000 ml is equal to 1 liter. Ang ml dapat small m yun na, capital L yun na ang liter. Ayaw mo pag himo, himo again yun, ha? So, do na tayo mga standard. So, I don't know if you can still remember. I gave you a guide sa pagsuwat sa inyohang proposals. Na apo dito, you can find there the standards, no? So, ayaw pag mo pag buot, buot niya. Wala na period. Okay? So, wala na period. Hectare is HA. Meter is M lang. Inch is IN lang. Is equal to... 2.54 centimeters uh, miles kinem so 1 mile 
that's MI is equal to 5,280 feet foot or feet FT rana na S or whatever ang CM di na may mong CMS kung centimeters uh, another 1 mile is equal to 1.609 kilometers these are the ones that I do remember kaning acres uh, di ko sure ana kalimot ako kilograms to pounds 1 kilogram is equal to 2.2 pounds uh, inches kini inches to meters uh, e by level na lang na ninyo na anaman mo ay uh, 1 meter is equal to 100 cm and then na atay 1 inch is equal to 2.54 so you can do that so by stage na siya uh, I think it's 40 something 42 or uh, 43 I forgot but you can compute that one gallons to cubic centimeter um, one gallon uh, ako mahinom duman is equal to 3.74 I think liters or 3.76 capital lang L sa lit liters ha? don't forget that one one liter is of course humanagis gutanan ni ni Salvador kagani ha 1000 milliliters okay and then gallons miles of feet na natay feet dere i covered that one ang bushels i think i gave it to you kagani ha wala po kasi ulo ini or last time this one i think no 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 that wala, wala na bushel i think is 1.25 cubic feet let me find it online Bushel to now one point twenty four. Yeah, so it's one bushel. One bushel is equal to one point twenty four cubic feet. It's a unit of volume. So U.S. customary is here. Okay, so again. For conversion of units, okay, you don't need to remember everything. Okay, so if you have questions, I'll try to answer. Can you put uh, interpretation? Is so if you cannot understand this one, then your problem is English. I don't have to explain the importance of mathematics. Kasabot ng siguro mo. Okay, we will be dealing with a lot uh, computations later on, even with your other subjects. So kumbaga. Math is basically a tool nga atong ginagamit for for most of the subjects that you'll be taking up aning a curriculum. Anyways, kani kabalo na mo. Dili na na ko explain siguro. Okay, so we're done here. We will now proceed to our next topic. So this time we will be talking about this. Wait, kita raba niyo. Uh, wait, aha. Uh -huh. Save, save us. Wait, uh, guys, uh, presentations, pictures. I think it's easier to show you kung naka JPEG ni siya. Wait, 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 JF JPEG, yeah. JPEG, okay. All slides. You. Let me find that one. Presentations. Oh, I said in your good tongue. Oh, ne. Okay. Goodness. Oi. Dili mayo. Mawala man ako ang display dere sa pikas. Kita ra sir. Ani na lang kani siguro. Ah, okay. Sige, ani na lang. Okay. Introduction to farm power and mechanization. So, I think it it's it's appropriate nga mag sugod ta sa definitions no 
So, anyway, uh, basin o dili pa na ako may sigutan. This time, you can you can type in sa comments kung on sa maning farm power, on sa maning mechanization. How do you understand this these terms? Ha? Pero mapadayon lang ko kaya mo sa mo takalangan. Ani? Okay. Unha na na ko dan. Wala pa mo katype na na ko answer. Then, to be more specific, initially we're talking just about mechanization, but I'm using the term mechanization here as agricultural mechanization. Guys, taas na kayo tag-title. Mapuno na ito sa ka-slide. Ah, excuse me. To mechanize ko na means to use machines to accomplish tasks or operations. Okay? So, mugami ito ang mga machines. Ah, kung magguna ta is that mechanization? You are already using a tool. Okay, look at the second line. A machine can be as simple as a wedge or as complex as an airplane. On some manang kuchilio. It's it's basically a wedge. It's it's a simple machine. I mean, you may have gone over this one in high school, so physics ninyo. No? You talked about simple machines. Okay, uh, among the simple machines are, let me see, on someone ang simple machines, one we have, be, type in sa comment, hindi po mo type sa comment, eh. hindi li ko ma-aware nga naa mo, simple machines, uh, we have the lever, or katong pang ligwat, bara di cabra, or even dunggan sa martilyo, another simple machine, we have the pulley, Ano na sa flag pull ba? Mag, mag flag racing. That's the pulley. Another sim simple machine is the inclined plane. Kailan mag inclined plane? Mm. So, kung nang nakay tabla, for example, nga nakay ikarga pa doon sa dump truck, o niya, butangan ni mong tabla, niya slide lang ni mo dito. So, that's an inclined plane. Another simple machine is the wheel and axle. So, basically, that's how your bicycle works. No? Manang muligid ka. Another inclined plane is the wedge. Something edge nga height. That's called a wedge. Or sometimes they say, you know, the wedge is basically a combination of two inclined planes. Uh, another is simple machine is the screw. Akaila mo screw. Katong nagtuyok-tuyok. Um, some say po kuno nga ang screw kuno is just an inclined plane nga you twist around. Mora man siguro ni, I think there are only six um, simple machines. Okay, going back. Again ha, to mechanize ka ni means to use machines to accomplish a task. So, a perfect example of mechanizing is for example, if you want to tear a piece of paper o manumanuho ni mo na, kiss on ni mo na rin. So, Pero, if you want to mechanize, gamitan mo gunting, mas limpio yung mong agi. So, in a way, we could say nga, to mechanize means to simplify our work or to make our work or task mas limpio, something like that. No, mas efficient, uh, faster, easier, di ba? A machine, kung no, by definition, can be as simple as a wedge, as I've mentioned kaganiya, or as complex as an airplane. So, agricultural mechanization, therefore, is the use of any machine to accomplish a certain task sa farm. So, for example, magkalos kag tubig, gumugamit kag balde, in a way, okay, that's already mechanization. Mangguna ka, that is already mechanization. Mugamit kag traktura, para nga ma till ang imuhang area, that is still mechanization. Kaso, these are on different levels of mechanization. Okay? Wala lagi mo tingog-tingog, lagi busy kayo mo. I have 28. Kabuok. I have 28. Asa naman yung uban, oi? Anyways, sige, padayin ta, ha? Okay? If you have questions, okay, like I said, I am monitoring your comments so I can see right away after some delay, of course, Ogun sa inyo hangi comment. Therefore, I can see uh, kung doon na mo yung mga questions. Sometimes when I ask a question, pwede, pwede mo mo tubag. 
Okay, next. So, unsa may purpose na to sa mechanization? Partly, I mentioned this one again. I'm talking about agricultural mechanization. Unsa may purpose? Labor productivity. Kung to increase labor productivity, to increase land productivity, to decrease cost of production. Okay, what is labor productivity? Uh, a person is basically limited in terms of power. So, meaning... Ang tao, maluya ra kita. Mayingang pag sila nga, maluya, manggani ang makina. Kita pa ba ka ang tao ra? So, ang atong productivity is, is very low. Um, doon na na sila yung mga studies. Ano before ko nung, uh, typically, one person, okay, can only till a maximum of one hectare of land. What does that mean? Meaning, ang imong matikad ko nung, pinakadako, sa kugihan na kakayo, usara yun ka, Ektaryang yuta, you cannot till bigger than that or larger than that. Ganuman, it's because of the simple nga fact that human power is is limited to make our task done faster. Yes, that's correct, Salvador. Okay, so uh, maluya man tao. At the same time, pod productivity, you could consider the speed as as a factor of productivity. Okay? So, kung hinay ka mo trabaho, niya, mo trabaho ka dako kayo nga area, okay? Mangguna ka, for example, niya, dako kayo yung muhang area, di pa ka masangka, di pa ka mabot dito sa tumoy, gitubuan na, huwag bagong sagbot dito yung imong gisugdan. You get what I mean? So, it's simply because of that limitation, dili kita katil o dako-dako nga area. And that's the reason why we, what we do is we either ask for somebody else's help or we employ a certain approach to mechanization. So, for example, mag-hire og additional tao to magdungan or magamit og daro nga guyuron og kalabaw okay, or magamit og traktura nga mag nga guyuron og nga maguyod og daro okay, to increase land productivity given a certain land, for example na nakay area dako o niya, ikaw ang imuhang ang tao, ikaw ra, imuhan ng land. So, you cannot maximize your land kung ikaw ra sa magtrabaho. So, the best way to do it is to employ the use of machines. That way, you can maximize your land. So, again ha, pag ang one is improve na ang labor productivity. So, it's possible. Okay, ha. Sorry for that. Okay, so land productivity. So, bali, primero, ang productivity atong gi improve atong labor productivity. Ikaduha, gusto na to ma-maximize ang productivity sa land. So, kung limited ang imuhang labor, for example, dapat we need to employ machineries para nga matikad na to ang mas dako nga yuta. Then, the third is para pag-decrease sa cost of production. Okay, and so what does this mean? Uh, it would end up being more expensive kung mag-hire ka og tao for example pakanon pa nimo niya o man ikaw magtrabaho ngita pud na sila pakanon nimo eh ikaw busog na ngita wa pud na sila pahilis so you will end up spending more if you hire manual labor you get what i mean tagpila man karon i i message ko no i rather i comment kung tagpila karon ang farm labor sa inyohang lugar. You mentioned also your place. I will wait for a while ha, to see your comments. Pila ang labor per day sa inyong lugar. So, you mentioned your lugar. And then, you mentioned also ug appeal na ba na or wala pa. And then, you mentioned po ug pila ang labor nga dala kalabaw ka ng padaro. Pila ang adlaw. Okay? Ah, so, magkalos ako kape ka jot. Niya, human. Makatulog niya ko. And then I'll wait for your comments. Na idaghan na good afternoon karon pa buto sa but karon pa ni nangabot ti mga tawana ni. All right, but that's okay. That's okay. Ah, okay. Again, ang ang keyword nato para sa attendance is stress. Okay, kalos ako. I'll wait for your comments. Okay, three hundred sa mantalungon walay labot ka on. Okay, that's three hundred per day. Okay, some more comments.
sa Ibarat lang sa katang oy. Anay. No 150 kuno sa katang. Um wait, ha, let me go over si Vicente ingon nga 300 sa mandalongon way labot kaon. Uh, sa Manlapay 200 wala na mention ni Virginia o Apil Bilicon 500 ang Daro sir without kaon. 250 ang guna sa Dumalan. Uh, 200 to 250 way libre kaon ingon si Jane. 150 sa katang bertu pri na kaon pud noon. Uh, 450 Libre kaon sa kagay 400 Walay labot kaon Sa talisay 300 to 400 Walay labot kaon Adlaw niha 250 ang guna Langkas 300 na lahob 200 deribad dyan Pang iskwila Yung mong tarong yun Gamurag kulang ni Huwag mo ni trabaho na to Ha Pag tinarong mong iskwila Yung tanan Kaya huwag maestro mo Basin na mo yung mga 500 600 Uh, si Kihor, Libris na 400 250 to 350 Ang guna with kaon See, so um, How about Rental sa machinery Basig doon na may idea Mostly, if we talk about machineries Ang atong makitaan region Is kaning Traktura nga gamit sa humayan Upland farming ang mga setup is wala pa nagamit o makinarya ka na yung, ang pinaka-typical guna rag yung taon o daro okay. sa on pool gagmay magod ang main reason sa ane is gagmay kitang land holding along the way I'll be touching this one pod uh, please mention if you're familiar kung magamit o makinarya how much si nga 500 libre na kaon o snacks sa ubo 200 to 250 Pangiskwila mong tarong ha Pasi mag-inabsent mag pa mo Like I said Okay, like I said You log in to my attendance It's okay nga di mo attend You can watch Sa replay later on Sa gabi Or a day after Especially kung na conflict Pero mas mayog na amo Kaya magtubag-tubag Manta ani Okay Kalimot ko Huwag pila makinarya now Karon here sa, sa Pilipinas ang mechanization is stages ang mechanization 500 pesos sa sabang si Bunga uh, wala kayo misaler it's because of the land holding now for example ang ato ang land 500 square meters lang di ba or 1000 square meters nga no nga mo invest pa man ka og makinarya kung maora na may parehas ta na mga dagko kay nga mga uma just like in other countries di ba um unsa to na yung santos ko na ho na ang akong ipauta na ah kay naman diri si Miss Jenny og si Miss Aless na mauta na ta kunila og kabalo mo pilay ipang apod apod ganito sa dar wala na sila kadungog if i'm not wrong i think sa dar murag na ay gipang apod apod sa dar I forgot to pila ang size but still I think that is still very small murag ang balaod ang sa comprehensive agrarian reform law nagaingon nga kung ang pag-iya sa land has more than 7 hectares iapud-apud to niya I think murag tagaan og tag 500 bato or half a hectare kada usa so for example ang farmer is a beneficiary sa dar kamay ra gyapon kay ang luna na karon magiyahay na lang ta so na pwede ra man gyud unta og say for example magdaro ta it will take for example one day or one man animal day please take note of that ha ayaw mo limot limot ha meaning When we say natin term nga Man Day O Man Animal Day What what does that mean? Uh, Buta sa buta ni guys is Hayop Tao O adlaw So for example It takes 30 man days To finish a certain Task Sa field Okay 30 man days That means Kung 30 man days But pasabot Mahuman na siya O usa ka tao Sa sulod sa 30 ka adlaw Pwede na po na siya Humanon O usa ka adlaw Gamit 
ang 30 ka tao. Pwede na po na siya humanon o duha ka adlaw kung 15 ka tao magtrabaho. Okay? I think you're following. Maura po na siya sa concept sa man animal day o sa kahayop o sa katao o sa kaadlaw. So, may yung kag uh, na po ka man animal days, meaning nga na pwede na po ka man animals in one day, pwede po nag usa ka man animal in 10 days. Pwede o duha ka man animals in 5 days or the other way around. Okay? So, ayaw lib ka ang libog ng utok. Okay, so muna ha, padayon sa kuha. Karon, what are the different stages of enhancing land labor productivity? I think you have observed some of this. One, uh, different stages, so application of improved hand tool technology. So, muna, higops ko kape. Okay. Im improve application of improved hand tool technology. So, a, perf a very simple um, example to this one is kung tahay na kay lampas or scythe, kanang pangharasog sagbot. Okay. Inig, sige ni mo gamit, mahabol mo na imong bairon. That's the application of improved hand tool technology. A very simple example lang na siya nga. Na feel ni mo nga ang current ni mo nga gigamit nga tool or ang current practice ni mo is not enough sa current job nga imong kinahang lang tiwason. Again ha, a very simple ex uh, example ani is sige kag pangharas kay nanguha kag gitambutol nimong sagbot. Yan na feel nimo nga nagkahabol nagkahabol na gyud. Yung muhunong sa ka kay imo sang bairon or magilis pa ka og sundang or whatever. Okay? Para nga ma-improve siya para mo paspa. So muna yung pinaka basic. Second feel na sa farmer for example nga di na mo dyan makaya na ako tao ni Uguna ni Iriahan ni ah, mga gamit na lang ko ayupan kalabaw in particular sa atua so draft animal when we say draft animal dili lang kay kalabaw in other countries they also use baka they they use kabayo na muguyod sa ilahang kuan sa ilahang trabaho muguyod sa ilang daro or even uh, camels o ka ng mga yak kayo lang mag yak May tao na mong yak, be. Yaks. I'll show you a yak. At to kita ni sa kuhaan ka na. Oh, murag, murag buffalo po ba? Mga na siya yak. Okay? Ah, naiuban po mo gamit o mga liyamas. Oh. Dili ni kaya siya common. So, depende na siya sa lugar. Oh. That's a llama. Okay? So, may pag-draft animals. Uh, draft animals. Pag-draft picture na. Uban in other countries are using kabayo. Okay? Kita, di ba Pilipinas, kalabaw, gito na andan. Kabayo, baka. Okay, that's a donkey. I don't know if you can still see that one. But that's too small. Um, baka kabayo here it's still draft animals kaya po na siya Kini, this is a camel okay baka okay here's another camel Kini, this is act I think a moose so do not limit yourself sa kalabaw <laughs> don't limit yourself to kalabaw so okay second level Again ha, second level sa pag-enhance sa land or labor productivity is the use of animal power. Kay, one, dili na eksakto ang power sa tao o sa katao. No? Then, sunod, ilisa na to ang stationary power. Masama na stationary power? When we say stationary power kanang nagkinahang lanta og power para pag paandar or pag accomplish a certain task nga stationary lang so example pag bumbas tubig pag kalos sa tubig oh, so ibis ka magkalos ka ilisa na nato na siya og bumba sa tubig ah uh, dili kay common sa to ah, but i think ang pinaka simple ang kanang pag bumba sa tubig mabumba og bang og manga A perfect example would be kanang 
book grip may tawag na mo na sa late so dire o sa tawag na o di di kayo familiar yung tawag sulpit or something ang kanang ipasuyop gani mula og syringe ipasuyop sa medisina para sa mangga niya ispray and yan imo na i-upgrade og bumba kantong power sprayer that's an example of number 3 stationary power substitution sa 4 another level motive power substitution so kanang move na from one place a very simple one is balsa so i-move ni mo ang imuhang karga ibis nga imong pasanon from one place to another you use a balsa okay and then uh, kung magdaro ka that's motive power gap on meaning you change position from time to time next is ang human control substitution padung na ni siya sa automation Okay, human control substitution. So, imbis nga control, di mo sa tao, imuna na siya, ma-minimize na siya. So, gamay na, ilisa na ni mo. Next is, adaptation of cropping practices. So, for example, na naman kay mga makinarya, imuna pong adjustment ang imuhang mga rows. Nga, ang mga distances ninyo, musut na sa paggamit ng makinarya. Another example would be ka na siyang farming systems adaptation number 7 magilis po ka sa mga varieties ngayon mong gigamit para nga sayon sayon siya nga i-mechanize um, na example aning gigihatag nila na mo sa una is ang mais ko no sa urban countries nagdungo ang atua is Gabarug, so lisod i-mechanize ang harvesting sa mais diri sa Pilipinas because of that. Base po sa existing ang mga machinery sa kanang mga corn pickers ba. So, di siya work And then, plant adaptation and then automation of agricultural production. Nga halos, wala na tayo ipang buhat, i-automate na. So, kumbaga, ang highest level of enhancing land and labor productivity is to automate production na. So, karon daghan na ni karon kay especially pag, pag pandemic uh, ang uban po gustong mo maximize og small areas na for example kana mga indoor nga mga production systems nga multiple layers nga uh, po siya matawag na to ang greenhouse but basically these are already mga food factories na gyapon nga maggrow og sila og crops in multiple levels na nga na first floor second floor third floor using artificial lighting kita wala man ta choice gamay gamay pa man atong inputs Uh, natural lighting lang gihapon na kinilang gihapon gikan sa adlaw pero mao lagi limited sa area kasi syempre butangan na tuog second floor na tong tanom di naman to mainitan to ang sa ground floor okay next sources of fa farm power unsa man ang different sources of farm power so okay nganong makinahanglan man tag power okay uh, sometimes the way we use the word uh, we sometimes use power o energy interchangeably. Okay? Uh, energy is sometimes they call it as the capacity to do work. Uh, work is equal to force times distance. That's equivalent to energy. But energy divided by time is actually power. Okay? Sige lang. Ato lang na-elaborate later on. So, kumbaga, og ato nang bisay on lain po gayo o maghisgot tag energia o <laughs> energia o kapangyarihan mo tag tanaw o anime ano yung uh, gidabing wa nakikita ko na ang kanyang kapangyarihan di ba lain kayo so power siya na on lang di ba main sources of power para basically again ha capacity to do work is ang humans then ang second is ang draft animals and then in genes and then there are other sources pa or non-conventional energy sources so mainly ang atong i-cover is kaning tulo humans draft animals or non-conventional not much with with this one ano sabi ng non-conventional energy sources kato mga energy sometimes they call it call it as renewable energy sources so wind power para sa pag-turn sa mga wind turbines Okay, dili na windmill ha. Itawag na siya nga windmill sa una kay gigamit man to paggaling. Okay, karon dili na ato. Kay di naman ni panggaling, pag-generate naman ni siya og kuryente. Oh, kini, kini di na ni siya windmill. Kani noon, kini. Kani siya, this is a windmill, this is a windmill. 
because before in Holland, dito sa amo sa Holland, magaling mi og trigo himo na mong arena, gamitan na mo og hangin. Wala man sa inyo sa Pilipinas, hilas sa kasera. Okay? So, it's called the windmill because initially it's a mill. Karun, mao na ni siya ang mga moderno nga mga wind turbines na ang tawag ana. So, we are using the wind or taking advantage of the wind to produce electricity. So, it's called a non-conventional energy source but this time, it's getting mainstream na. So, kumbaga, na uso na sa una mang god ang main sources na to power is ang kuryente giyon sa pagproduce ang kuryente wait ini mao giyon sa pagproduce ang kuryente is by virtue of geothermal power kanang gikan sa bulkan uh, hydro power or mga diesel gen sets or generation generator sets um, in other countries in the US for example they are uh, na ay windmill sa sa busay di mo andar. I'm not sure if it's really a windmill. Kisa yung nakaadtog busay ninyo. Uh, Basi nung wind turbine na siya dong. Basi nung wind turbine na siya. Ay daghan kay uso-uso, mga good name. Um, in the late 90s, big deal ka ini siya sa nga mga thrust sa sa government ang non-conventional energy sources yung tawag nila. So, wind. Okay? Karon, more on, we want to use wind Okay, to turn the turbines and then ang turbines will produce electricity. Solar power put as a farm. Uh, a perfect example sa so solar, kana magbulad ta. That's a very simple. That is sun drying kanang atong ibulad. We're, we're taking advantage of solar power din ha. Ang solar drying is slightly different than a shake cover. We're, we're still taking advantage of, of solar power. And the pinaka first thing that will come to mind, siguro nato, would be ang solar energy nga muhit sa solar panels nga eventually will be converted to kuryente. More na siya solar. And then biomass power, meaning this is power coming from plants or biomass sources or biological sources. Unsa man siya ang biomass power. Perfect example would be kahoy atong isugnod. That's biomass. Uh, uling, that's biomass. Um, alcohol, for example, from corn. That's biomass. Alcohol, yung mong sindihan, siga man na. That's biomass. Alcohol from lubi, that, that's still biomass. And then hydro power, gikan sa tubig. So, uh, sa Maria Cristina, for example, probably you've heard of that falls. Uh, mantayupan sa mantayupan for example na nasa lay hydro diha nga, nga ge nag generate og kuryente gamay gamay lang na siya nga hydro we can use this one sa farm so na mga gagmay na may in fact mga implementation sa mga micro hydro systems just to produce kuryente para sa farm but typically especially when we talk about farm power farm mechanization kanig yung tulo moy main sources of power na to humans, draft animals, or engines kay we're talking about motive power okay, kini 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 motive power mo mo na yung iskutan good, kini non-conventional energy sources, this is very difficult to to mga pwede i-move na to na for example, o kurinti atong gamiton sa atong daro, pwede man, pero muro pag nagtugway kanding, mag-guwag-guwag o extension wire, di ba? So, pati nga sula. So, the practical ones that are available for motive power, like magdaro ta or whatever, is kaning humans, draft animals, or engines. Engine or gitawag na po na itong makina. Kani, stationary power ni siya. Okay, it's very difficult pag atong ipamove. Okay? Wala question so far? May mga tao nga gipang mention sa <laughs> kuan gipang mention sa sa ining sa comment. Wala pa siguro na tong haong uban. Right now there are 30 of you. Naapan taga C dire no, kinsa we? Eh. Tingog ko no. Kinsa ay taga C nga naapa dire. Pasagdan tan na lang mo eh. Nabisi ganahan, pagpun mo minaw. Ayun na mong subject, asambit o requirements na ako ha. Kaya gadugang-dugang na mong chikanan. Wala na itagasi. Sure, Mark? Nang leave na ba? Ano no, I mean sa as members ba? 
Okay, ah, uh, mag-open ko na kung lain. Pakit on tamo. Kani... Napa siguro itaga sini nyo, ano eh? 2.6, di ba kanima? Ah, uh, 2.6 Members Kini, napataga si Anigoro eh Awa ninyo Ay, taga si Ana Goro eh Anyways, anyways So, tayo ta Hinay-hinay ko sa'y maungot ko istorya kay Higop Town, Kapi, Arundili, Dukaon Okay? Pada yan Okay So, there are different levels of mechanization technology So, ang mga tao nga nauna na to They, they have their way of calling things their way so ila pud ni gitawag og different levels of mechanization technology so one is ang kanang tao o humans lang ang main nato nga source of power uh, they call it hand tool technology then draft animal technology pud kato mo gamit og draft animals then ang third ang highest level of mechanization technology is ang engine power technology. Uh, partly, nahisgutan ko na ni siyang three different levels of mechanization technology. Pero it doesn't mean nga it doesn't mean nga kuan, it doesn't mean nga uh, it has to be purely hand tool technology or purely draft animal technology or purely engine power technology so most of the time actually right now it's a combination of all three so not a different levels pero di yun ingon nga 100% hand tools or 100% draft animals or 100% engine power technology okay that John okay before we move forward I Let's see or let's say kalahian between a tool and a machine. Sige, basahasan ninyo. I'll give you a little time. Now, face to face ba? Pero mas grabe ang mga vloggers na master na tayo may ila-ila sa ilahan ko ha? Kaya ilahang kamera, kaya huwag ko na sila ito, istorya, kamera rin yun. So, machine is a mechanical device consisting of two or more relatively constrained components which is energized by a power source to transmit or modify force and motion to accomplish work. Ang toolwood is a human-powered instrument usually without parts that move relative to one another used to facilitate mechanical manual operation. So, for the purpose of this subject, we, we will not follow the standard definitions of tools and machine. And I think this definition is more appropriate. <laughs> Balikan na to. Mechanical device ang machine consisting of two or more relatively constrained components. So when we say two relatively constrained, it may move with respect to another. Onya, it is energized by a power source. So any power source, well, as I said, it's limited to human power, it's limited to draft animal power or engine power to transmit or modify force and motion to accomplish some work. So by this definition, okay, a pair of scissors is actually a machine okay pliers is a machine because it has two or more relatively constrained components or parts okay energized by a power source source like a person a tool kuno is a human powered on the other hand a tool is a human powered instrument so power good walay tools 
nga gamiton ang hayop o ang machine. Tao ra yun. Usually without parts that move relative to one another. Used to facilitate manual operation. So, by this definition sa tool, a kutsilyo is actually a tool. A gunting is a machine. Okay? And both are used to cut something. A screwdriver is a tool. Going back sa kang physics nga istorya, a lever, therefore, simple machines nini physics, a lever is a tool. A pulley, since na na may magtuyok-tuyok, is now a machine. An inclined plane is a tool. A wheel and axle, na siya yung wheel na yung axle, is a machine. A wedge is a tool. A screw is a tool. Kasi nabot na ta. So, muna itong gamiton nga. Kuhaan nga definition starting now. So, ang machine is, doon na na siya ay kanang complexity gamay. May be composed of two or more relatively constrained components. Ang tool, on the other hand, wala siya ay moving parts. Okay? Relative to one another. Okay? So, balik ta. Hand tool technology. Diba? Itong different three levels of mechanization technology. Kani, hand tool technology, draft animal technology, engine power technology. So, it's a, it's the lowest form of mechanization technology. So, simple tools like, kung sa man, hose, o kanang gabang. Gabang, so, kung tawag na, sakto gabang. Uh, sometimes, um, pikmatok, or, or pikmatok or gabang, mga ni bolos, or cycle, cycles, uh, lagraw. Muna siya. Niya, ang source of power, gigamit siya sa tao. Okay? Ang hand tool technology, kung no, with hand tool technology, we can only cultivate a maximum of one hectare. Kana, we're probably, we're talking of a skilled farmer. O ka mo, mga estudyante man mo, di pa mo ka mao siguro mong narbaho, basig tunga, ras ektarya po ninyong mahuman, samot. Okay? Pada yun? Humans as a source of power in temperate regions, dito sa amo, asa mo mo ah, Temperate regions, katong mga parts nga na is no. So, asa man to ang temperate dog. Kuan. Uh, I think I need to show you a... I uh, Ang parts ba sa kuan? Uh, temperate tropical regions. Na illustration siguro ane. Ah, kine, yeah, kine, kine. Mane siya pinaka perfect. You can see that one. So, ang tropics, mane siya apil ta sa tropics. Okay, nata sa tunga tunga sa Earth equator na pinaka tunga. Ang tropics na tunga tunga between the Tropic of Cancer o the Tropic of Capricorn na sud ha Pilipinas. Okay. Ang Tropic of Cancer is actually located 23 degrees and one half north of the equator. Ang yung latitude. Ang Tropic of Capricorn is 23 and one half foot south latitude sa equator. Ang temperate zone kining mga areas din he. This is around 60 degrees latitude. Padong dito 20 dere. So this is zero money. Zero, padong dito, 19 na siya. Ayun nga na. So, ang pagsukod na, say, for example, let me draw. If this is the earth, for example, okay, ah, ha, I don't know. Mag-practice yung tayinig drawing yun. Brushes, I'll use, wait, which one? Kini, I think. Maybe red. So, ang size, padakana to. So, if this is the equator, oy, bati man akong brush. Dili ma yung lapis. Lapis na, kini siguro? Okay, ana. Okay. Ana. Hiwi lang. Di ba, 90 degrees pa na. So, kung ang tropics din he, dapita, this one measures, oy, 
Kana siya nga angle measures 23 degrees on one half. Wana siya. That's the Tropic of Cancer. Sa ubos po, a Tropic of Capricorn, that angle, padong din to, measures also 23 degrees and one half. Sa temperate regions, kaniko top dere. So from 23 degrees and one half, taman, kanipun nga angle, which is around 60 degrees na siya. So kanipun osa dere sa tropics, so 60 degrees na siya. Okay? So mo na ibot pasabot ana. Ha? And then polar regions na sa tumoy. So divided into three parts lang na siya, basically. Polar regions katumbog na kayo. So, in temperate regions, humans consume energy at a sustainable rate of 300 watts. Ang ano man, in the tropics, it's only about 250 watts. Sa temperate wangod, mas bugnaw. And I think the main example that I can give you here is that, kabantay siguro mo nga, dagko kayo bukaon o tingulan, no? Kanang tingtug na panahon. Comment your answers. Mag-CR sa ko ka diyan. Kadong gusto mag-CR, CR sa mo ka diyan. I'll be back shortly, okay? Hey, let me see your comments. I'm back. Sorry for that. At, uh, okay. Y yes, sir. Kabantay jod. Yes, sir. Kay labaw na sir na ang imong gikakon init kayo. Paningto na lang good ka bisag ting ulan. Dagko jud ka on sir kay kuraon kas katugnaw. Tinuod bitaw sir na kabantay sab ko. Ngano di ay na sir. Okay. Ang reasons bang god. Ang food nga atong gikaon partly is used to heat us up. Okay, painiton atong lawa. So kung init ng daan, di na tamo gamit ana nga, nga nga part sa energy. Okay? Uh, in places that are cold, you need oh, mammals man ta, mo init man ta. So kinahanglo na to nga painiton aron dili patugnaon syempre. Ganado ang counsel ko tintug now. If ang temperature mo down, sir, our body temperature mo drop po, maong ganahan kay tamukaon, especially food with calories to warm up our body. Sakto, yung ni Mark. Ana na siya. So, para pag-keep sa atong temperature, nga mura tagbuhi ba? 
Ana na siya. So, pila may temperature di ay sa normal temperature sa tao. It's about 37, 37.5, 36. Ana siya. O, more than that, nilanta na ka. So, tingtug na, ato na siyang i-maintain to keep body functions na ay term nga homeostasis. O, ah, homeostasis nga yeah, ang atong lawas basically gustong mo maintain og certain range of temperatures pH mga ingana ba para mo na nga normal mo pud ilang tan-aw sa doktor o sa mga medtech kung magpalab ka so for example na kay blood work or magpa CBC di ba complete blood count ipo na dito so nice certain ranges of value so mugawas sa gani ka sobra ka gamay sobra ka daghan ang imong white blood cells or ang imong red blood cells or unsa pa ni but pa sa but dunay abnormalities okay so just like temperature og init kay ka nabuhat ka sa adlaw og init kayo natay tendency nga mo adtog pasilong ta Nya mo inom tag tubig nga bug now because we want to cool down. Feeling lang ni mo giuhaw ka, it's not. But actually, ang naitabo ang imong lawas is demanding you, okay, to cool it down kay og di ka mo cool down, mo overheat ka, mamatay ka after some time. Heat stroke og sobra bud ka tugnaw, mamatay pud ka hypothermia po hinungdan. So, ang atong atong lawas do na siya mga self regulatory functions nga maintain a certain range of temperatures maintain a, maintain this values para nga matawag ka kumbaga by definition nga buhi ka okay so in temperate countries mas taas sila o rate of energy consumption because they need to keep their bodies warmer okay so our bodies are basically giving off heat. So, dapat mas bugnaw ang environment kaysa itong lawas. So, pero mas bug, mas init ang environment kaysa itong lawas, ang heat mo'y padung nato. So, muna igangan ta magmayo, muna mag-heat stroke ta. Pero ug tugnaw po kayo ang environment kaysa lawas, mas paspas ang atong pag-give, pag, pag, kumbaga, transfer o heat gikan sa itong lawas towards the environment. So, therefore, you will need more energy to maintain such heat flow in the tropics it's only 250 watts kwan na ha kini nga konsumo i'm talking about the amounts of energy being consumed without doing anything ba ni ha pagpakabuhi lang ni siya ha sustainable a sustainable rate is yeah man many agricultural production operations requires higher rates of energy consumption okay claro daghan ko no sa mga operations require more than that. Amo nang maluya ta. Sige lang, I think in a few slides later, I can show this to you. This limited power is the reason why using hand tool technology can only cultivate a certain maximum lang. Mauna siya. Okay? Now, let's try to explore this one further. Okay. Here's a table from from the ref, from my reference. Human power consumption ko no. Different activities, ha? Different activities. Clearing brush and scrub, uh, mangharas. You need around, you're consuming around 400 to 600 watts. Okay, again, if we go back to the original slide, rate of energy consumption, sustainable rate, meaning continuous, okay? You can you can consume energy at a, high, a very high rate, say, for example, 1,000 watts, okay? Pero for only a short period of time. So that's the reason why for example, ikaw kusgan ka, makaalsa ka o something bugat, pero kadi otra, pero asahan na gusto ka adlaw, mahimo ba ni mo, you cannot do that. So muna yung mga limitations sa humans. So, clearing brush, 400 to 600. Mamutulog ka ako eh, 600 watts. Manggabang, 300 to 500 watts. Magbangag, raging, deep digging, up to 1,000 watts. Planting, 200 to 300 Plowing with draft animal, 350 to 50. Driving axle tractors, 350 to 650 watts. Four-wheel tractors, 150 to 350. This is a range of values. Uh, driving a car on the farm, 150. Relax kayo. Lingkod-lingkod. Even ng matulog ka, you're spending about, I think, mga 90 watts while matulog. Okay? 
Hana siya. And for example, deep digging, o tistingan na ito na, o makalab ta, latusod pa, kubkubon ta mo, whatever. You will really notice nga, you can only do as much. Magbangag ka, di ka pwede magbangag ng pahuway, ang away, pahuway, pahuway. Kay, it's because you are consuming so much energy for that kind of work. Okay? Huwag na question sa, comment lang dayon comment lang. Ha? So, it's okay, i, -i Kumbaga, i-address na ko ang inyong questions while even if I already have if, even if I already have covered that one in, in the discussion. Okay? Uh, it's a... Uh, am I... Sixty-four responses. So, as of now, sa inyong sa kuan ba, sa attendance, na ano yung say As of Kaganiha, I think I had a maximum of around 34. Pero, sa kuan, sa attendance, 64 ka buo kang attendance Bugoy kayo, Ma'am Renji, no? Mga bata ba? Nag-attendance, sa Sintra, sa Sintra, 4 ka buo. Ang may attend sa live, 34 labing daghan. Nawala ang the other 30. <laughs> ah, okay ra na siya. That's okay. Okay ra ka sabot ra gyapon ko. Oh, uh, sabot ra ta. Ah, kamo may alcance ingon si ma'am. Si Desiree and A ko no ang kuan. <laughs> okay, so I I I actually see your responses. Okay, let me show it to you, ha. Ayun, di ba? Iyan. Oh, uh, ang last nga mi intra Si Gretchen, uh, 3.05, actually 3.11, late yang rilo, 3.7, uh, 3.6, okay rin eh. Last do si Quintay no ibi, si Quintay otso, okay rin eh siya. Muna, mailan eh mo, oo, oh, tunapa yung mga tikas nga time, uh, wari na sa previous day, 16, karun manita na no, nakanta mo example, kini, 11, si Mary Grace, ah, uh, to the one six many ah uh, pagka 11 is ya kini 17 so that's alas 5 alas 5 gyud ay ni sa 12:50 pm na <laughs> but anyway you get the idea okay yon wala po ka sign in sir it's okay dili pa nako i close in Dai Virginia no worries Sign in lang mo later. Okay. Virginia. What's say mo ang angga dahi? Virgin? Or Virgie? Or Virge? Okay. So, dahi ta. Wala question so far. Wala question so far. Hmm. Alright. So, anaha. So, that's kini. What I'm showing you right now is the rate of power consumption that is in watts okay okay rest periods taoniha we're talking about humans um approximately approximately ang isa ka kalabaw is equivalent to seven persons in terms of power approximate dili exact but approximately ana mga five to seven persons ang ang iyahang equivalent sa power Uh, ang kalabaw also has a more or less the same amount of power sa kabayo. Okay? Okay. Due to higher rates of power consumption, various farm operations, and the physiological limitations of human power, rest periods kuno are necessary. Okay? Kinahanglan yun nga mo pahuay. The, the required rest period can be estimated using this formula. Uh, TR is equal to 60 quantity 1 minus 250 over P. Okay? TR is the rest period in minutes per hour of work and P is the actual rate of energy consumption in watts. Okay, let's go back. Let's just go extreme. Magbangag da. Digging. Okay? Kining 1,000 watts. May itong gamiton. That's the rate of energy consumption. You move forward. So, ang P, rate of energy consumption. So, that's 250 over 1,000 na. Okay? 
So 250 over 1,000, that's 0 0.25 or 1 fourth. So 1 minus 0 0.25 is equal to 0 0.75. 60 times 0 0.75, okay? Uh, 60 times 0 0.75, bilaman, 3 fourths of 60. So 60, 30, 15, 45. So, ang rest period in minutes per hour of work is 45 minutes. Meaning, meaning, kung magbangag ka, nga tininood yun nga bangag, sa sulod sa usaka oras, ang actual trabaho ni mo is only 15 minutes. The other 45 minutes is actually pahuway. Nang muhunong kagadiot ba? O baltoyhad ka? E nga na, maoibot pa sa botana. So, that's a physiological limitation of human power. We cannot do anything about that. Bisag, kung sa panimu kakusgan, okay, even bodybuilders, nga to as a gym, na sig, as what, mupahuay gita siya, kay dili kaya, especially if you are lifting really, really, ka na nga mga bugat nga mga weights or loads, okay? Ito nang nag-reply mo ni sila, eh. So, yung kalaki ninyo, ah, inyong mga classmate nga wala pa nagpakita, inyong ipang inform Okay? Ana, so basically, wala yung question so far. Wala pa mo naningog lagi. Wala yung question so far. Padayan ta ha, padayan ta. Wala yung question. Again, if you have questions, i-address na ako along the way. Okay? Okay. Uh, here are other... Field operation rates by farmers using hand tools. Okay. Kini, average values. Manual work rate, man days per hectare. Pila ka man days per hectare. Kung magland clearing ko, no? It takes about 32.6 man days. Ang mauni ang range of values din he. 32.6 man days. Meaning, Mangharas, ana mangibot og sagbot. Okay, first nga land clearing. It will take more or less 33 persons to finish it in one day or it will take one person to finish it in 33 days. Ridging for cassava kana mag mag sa may bisaya ini. Ridging eh. Upheeling ba? Upheeling or ah, magbangag day ni day mag uh, na term ane eh. mm, si tawag ane eh, basi kabalo mo sa kana mag maghimo o bridge ba? Magpaburuto na to ang usa ka site. Sur, ang surko is na anaman good siguro na itanom. So it will take 43.8 Mondays. Manual work ni ha? Kung daro surkohon pero gunahon pabugduhon ba ang punuan? It will take around 44 Mondays. Mound making for yams. Ka nang pa... pa ilang maning sa... Dito ni sa Africa. Mga God, kining yam ka ng ubi ba? Ubi. Mag-mound. Ilan yung paburutun ang yuta. Kung nagtapuko ng yuta. So, it will take around 58. Kasama planting, 28.3. Yam pla Weeding root crops, 36.7. Mga God, sagbot ha. General weeding, around 40 Mondays. Kasaba harvesting, 28.5. See? That's manual labor sa sulod o sa kaiktarya. One hectare is 10,000 square meters. Or, para ma-visualize ninyo, kung tahay square yun na, that's 100 meters by 100 meters. Wa ko'y nabawan. Sa nangingingon mo, Jinjo? Ah, ang attendance na ito yun yung gikuan. Okay. Okay, pagpasabot ani ha. Dayon. Ha, dayon ta ha. Yun. Duration of power output in hours now. Physical power outputs. Mane ako yung ingon ninyo. This is 60 watts ni siya. 160 watts. Okay. We can produce 160 watts for a short period of time. After some time, magkataas mo, abot na o lima kauras, duration of power output, continuous, magkaubos, magkaubos, magkaluya na, mga utsinta na lang ang atong ma-produce. This is for an approximately 60 kilograms nga tao. Okay? So, 
magkadugay, magkahinay ang atong trabaho, mag-aginod na tagmaayo. Okay? Are you following? Wala question so far, guys. Okay. Padayan ko ha, padayan lang ko. Wala pa question so far. Uh, human work output. So, about 25 rong send sir agaray. <laughs> Only about 12 so pero karon rong send ka nga wa kay na sabtan. So nakasabot sa nanood ko Jinjo nga wala kay na sabtan. Agaray. I-review lang ninyo. Okay, I will be uploading this one later on. See So, di ay ani akong realization. Bisag na amo well ga klasiko online, wala mo'y mabalan. Ug dili mo mo attend, samot mo wala mo mabalan. Kan sigit mo kaya ani. Nang yawat lang yun mo nga mahuman ning tuig na mo'y kursong mahuman, na mo'y subjects mahuman, bahala gway sabtan. Look guys, To be honest with you, I I cannot blame you. Okay, bisag ako siguro kana siyang it's it's highly affected by this. But at the end of the day, people expect you to graduate with something ng balo niyo, de ba? So nag-expect me, nag-expect sila, nag-expect ang community niyo ng later on when you graduate na may balon. Yeah, ang ultimate sukod sa inyong balon is the board exam. Uh, I suggest nga paninguha po in town mo o dako dili lang kay gamay kay dude dili ang anak ka sa ang board exam ninyo. Daghan kay ta graduates every year. You know, para parihas raman sa inyo ha. Daugon rin na sa kugi. You know, on. Like I said, I cannot blame you. But to have an edge over the other applicants later on when you will be diving into the workplace I don't know so you have to exert more effort kaya hay kay mo karong panahon na wala ko na muy boy ninyo ha libre biya yung eskwila nili na mo mamliti yan di pagin mo kakita o paagi sa pag o wala mo yung telepono makahulam man lang di ba imposible po kayo nakasabot ba yung ako siya ha 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 Di, di bida dong. Kamu tanan. I'm trying to address you all. Okay, I I do understand. Bisa kita kasabut ka. It doesn't matter, no. Ah, am perfect example lang nako ang mahatag niyo. Ang inyo attendance, okay. Sa isinta na kapin. Ang present karon sa live is 24. Although I told you nga, kanang it's okay nga inyo rang tanaw later. Malay ko ba o inyong yung tanahon? Di ba? I really don't know. But sa inyong attendance, nangugi mo as if moto importante. Okay? As if moto importante. So, I don't know. At, at, at the end of the day, at the end of the semester, I do feel nga, nagan kayo kulang ninyo. Ah, balikin niya ako, ingna niya ako nga, sakto ko, especially o manake mo board exam o niya, you will be bringing with you along ang kani nga batasan gani nga murag wala nga kana siyang kulang skugi ba nga palagdas lang ingna niya ako nga sak sakto ka sir or i hope you will prove me wrong ina nga sir kada taka lang kag istorya sir baliki ko ipasa tanawa ko lisensya sir o naa na so hopefully sayo po hopefully sayo ko ha genjo uh, i am not blaming you okay It's not you. Ah, tagaan lang tika sa datos. Like I said, sa attendance sheets, ah, I already have sixty-six responses. I can see that also. Let me show it to you. Yun, yun. Tanawa kanisya. Mikit anak ko na ako nang giclear ka ganiha. So there are sixty-six of you who signified your presence, karon. Okay. Pero you could see nga. Also, that only 26 are watching live. So it's possible nga ang katung 40 ka buok mutan auto niya. Pero it's very unlikely nga that's the case. Diba? O, karun ba yung chipi na po na nag-usa? Okay? 
So, the least you can do on that is magpabibo mo na mo. Anyway, sige, trabaho lang ko sa akong trabaho. And I do expect you and I do hope nga mangugi mo. Ako, organi ni isave sa ako ang messenger. Ang link ani sir, kaya wala ko isipin ni Baro Ragud ko sa ako kasi it doesn't matter dahil pangita lang yun nagpaagi din ha. You really don't have to explain it to me. Like I said, all these materials are available later on. Dili mo ni siya ingon nga karon ako nag-live. Ha, so, pangita mong pagi sa inyong end. Pangita mong pagi sa inyong end. Kaya kita na nang nagkalisod na ng kalaki ni COVID karong panahon na. Pero like I said, I have a very strong feeling nga kamu are, kumbaga, kamu nga naabtan ug pandemic. Tanan, estudyante, muagi sa usaka tuig nga laktod pagka istorya, way klarong klase. Niya, o guay klarong klase, guay klarong nabalan. Di mo ganit kasabot, huwag na ang maestras tubangan. Di ba? Samot nagwala. Okay? So, hopefully, mo exert mo o extra effort nga. One, look, timan ini niyo dudong inday, libre in town mo sa ched. Apil mi o bayad o buhi. So, apil mi sa nagpa-eskwila ninyo. So, naa may tampo ninyo. Wala ko na mo iboy. Pero in town, give justice to the uh, Filipino taxpayers. Okay? Unsa may gipangayo na mo. Okay? Unsa may gi-expect sa atong presidente. Unsa may gi-expect ka. Kamu, magtinarong mo. Di ba? Kay later on, kamu naman po yung muman sa ito ang nasod or wherever you will be going later on. Pero, If this is the case nga, ibutang ta lang, Jenjo, example, yung kadong kay, ingon ka ganiha, wala ko sabtan, sayop ko ko, sayop na ko kong sayop, wala yung masabtan, yung klase niya, dili biyay nga na kadali, ibutang ta lang yun, nga tinood nga wala yung sabtan, mupasar na gahapon mo, kay, siyempre, ngita mo paagi later on sa pagpasar, niya, ang nasabtan man mo, ay importante, di man ang pagpasar, o para na ako, no, no, So hopefully, uh, i-realign, uh, do some retrospection, uh, i-realign ang inyong priorities. Okay. Ang kaning tanan ng inyong yagian is basically to prepare you in the near future. So kung inyong batasan karon palagdas na mo, ayaw expect nga mga tarong mo, igabot sa panahon, palagdas lang yan po na. Okay. Ako, for example, I, I, I do see no sayop de sere na makahuman o iskwila ang paghuman ng eskwila sa iyon, Rana. Okay? Aka ng paghuman ng eskwila, mahuman yung mong eskwila. Mundang kang eskwila, human kang eskwila. Mung graduate ka, human yung pong eskwila. Ang pangotana, o na-transform ba ka? Are you a better person after sa eskwila? Mga mga na bigger question ko dahil. Dili mga mga ingon nga mahuman lang. Kasagara na to ang istorya is mahuman. Bahid na istensar ba pag-send ni Moana? Ni Phil out kami. Isa ha, tanahan ako ni Kamark. Ni Phil, ni Phil out kami dread. So, ginanra na mo ang keyword kay around 2.30 naman ka nag-ingon sa stress nga keyword. Di na may mag-send balik sir kay Hadlock may makapiso. Uh, yes, that's right. Ayaw na, ayaw nag-usap o sendong. Okay na to yung attendance. Yeah, ang attendance, dili yun na ang kamatay ninyo. Mung kagula na. See, you have the wrong sense of priorities. Mone ako ang example. Okay. Ang sense of priorities ninyo, ang attendance, ang mahuman ng iskwila, that's wrong. Dapat, ang priorities ninyo nga mahuman ng adlaw, You're a better person than who you were yesterday. Ano ang ta? It's not about the attendance. It's okay rin mong kung absent mo. May problema na ko. Pero ang question is, are you doing something to improve yourselves? Kana ang better question. Ibalik na po si Jinjo. Huwag ako na nasaba. Naabi ako yung nasabtan, sir. Narong send lang ko, sir. Sorry. Okay rin lang ito. Again, again. Kumbaga, ang inyohang sense of priorities para na ako balik. Okay? Your priorities are attendance, makahuman, that's wrong. Okay? Asa man ang value sa attendance? Asa man ang value 
sa pagkahuman. Ang value sa education are the things that you learn. Okay? Not the things nga muprobar nga present ka, nga muprobar nga nag-graduate ka. Okay? Ang value is you are a better person in the near future because you did your part. Okay? We expect you to do this and that. Pero di ay wala ra kay nagpa-present ra yung kaperme. Akaron, uh, ang saan mo ninyo pag-explain ako. Sige, try to answer this question. Why do I have 67 responses sa attendance right now and I only have 27 people watching the live video feed? Be, sige. Uh, I'd, I'd be happy to to kalima nag-send. Makita mong kuna na ako. Ma'am, kung kalima bagyad na-send o unique ba? Well, let me try. Ah, sige. Possibly, sir, nga kalima nag-send. Uh, I'll try to see that. O kalima ba? But I think I have unique responses. Let me see. Ha? Makalinga mong guna yung ani. Kini nga mga istorya. Para rin mong guna yung inyo. Good gihapon. Hindi mo. Ah, okay, ramang God. May problema. O kalima mo, Sen. Inilip sa kita itong tiyan, ana. Yes, yes. Oh. So, okay. For example, Karun. Uh, last names lang, ha. Basahon ako. From gikan sa last nga may interest attendance. Padong dito, babaw. Punay, Mundiha, Rehis, Torres, Albius, Mangyao, Fajardo, Karael, Romero, Naason, Antonio Romero, Dimo, Goria, Balbarino, Fernandez, Fajardo, Mondoyo, Labastida, Eriarte, Amancio, Eriarte. Pila na ikabok, Eriarte. Doha ba yun mo? Raymond, ang usa. Raymond, okay. Naay usa ka two entries. Si Raymond, Fernandez, Mangyao, Benes, Labastida, Katarman, Amatong, Aman, Abatayo, Labastida. Doha ka entries ang Labastida. Pero, I don't think that's enough nga nung maabot mo sa Isintay City out of 25 na lang. Diba? So, double entries sa attendance doesn't explain nga nung nga nung sa Isintay City kabuok. So, hopefully, hopefully, okay, hopefully, nga kamo puhon will be better persons than who you are karon okay so mo na itong mo na ito ang ambisyon okay mo na isil sil sa inyong alimpatakan children ladies and gentlemen ha kids dili ang graduation dili ang attendance okay padugang na nas purma god dili ang kurso or ang pangani mo nga nakahuman ka dili ay nakahuman ka wabu kay batasan sa may kalahian na naprias na na Maybe sir, gasalig ang uban nga di mananaw sa live kay makita araman bisag unsang orasaha unless kung sa Zoom or Google. No. Ma, di mo backward o forward? I don't know. I don't know. The fact, uh, si Crystal, G, Crystal Jean, may ingon siya nga, maybe sir, gasalig ang uban nga di man mananaw sa live kay makita araman bisag unsang orasaha. I think it's it's the wrong sense. Uh, I would, basin o oh, they watch later na lang sila tinood. So, yeah, yeah, basin, good, siguro. Basin, pero I don't think that's the case. Uh, I think you are putting more emphasis on the attendance than on the class. And, uh, ang uban, ang uban, dili, kay giusaman ako. So, nangotan na si si Miss Rene Jane kung il nyo habang schedule I do understand nga wala ang uban it's, it's okay like I said dili man na issue na ko ang, ang issue na ko is having the wrong sense of priority okay it's okay not to be around it's okay nga ah uh, ito nawala na noon ko pero the way you you answer questions the, the way things manifest right now I, I do have a feeling na uh, uh, mas importante ninyo ang attendance, mas importante ninyo ang pag-graduate. Uh, that's, that's actually the practical aspect. Pero later on, mo-graduate man mo, mo-present man mo, 
Pero you cannot prove nga nakatun mo, that's the hard part. So, hopefully we can fix that. Hopefully we can fix that. Kumbaga, what I'm trying to emphasize right now is, you fix your priorities. Make it right. Okay, what's important right now or what's important sa inyong pag is not the degree that is given to you afterwards. Okay, it's never the degree. But it's the stuff that you learn because you are being trained to become agriculturists in the future. Kung nakakay pangalan degree, o niya di ka kamao, kung sa may tawag ni mo, Professional gapon sir kay oh siguro para ni mo ayana yeah like i said people have expectations around you your parents your community your relatives your friends your teachers your classmates nga og mahuman ka sa usa ka degree kabalo na ka ana nga degree nya pero tan-on ka di ka katubag apiki so unta invest more on the value added ba on say napuno ninyo hopefully ing ana ha okay padayon ta okay taas na mo istorya pila pa ni ka slides ning ako ah slide 14 just in town by in size pa man ka slides eh aw sunod meeting ko ning uban sunod meeting na pud ning uban o ati was on dala ning kuan Humans on ya killing draft animal technology next na nato ni ikuan. Okay, kanina ta slide, but ayan ta. About 25% of the energy consumed in handling easy tasks, kuno, like pedaling, is converted to actual work output. Okay, again, only about 25% of energy consumed in, easy, in handling tasks, easy tasks, like pedaling, is converted to actual work output. Again, ha. We are talking about energy consumed. Kato mga values kaganiha ng atong gipang pakita. These are energy consumption or power consumption, energy consumption. Okay, that is not the actual work output. That's how much you are drawing energy from your food. Okay, how much you are drawing energy from your reserves. But whether or not that can be converted to actual work, di pa na mao ang value. So it should be smaller than that. Kani, uh, number of days na siya. Kani, for example, we're talking about uh, physical power output na noon. This is power output na nawa. Uchintara. 160 rangi isgutan din ha. That's power output. Kani, power consumption. So for example, Okay, while clearing brush, you consume, say, for example, 500 watts, okay, worth of power, okay, actual output is way less than that, even the maximum is only 160. So, that's input-output relationship, okay, nasundan ninyo. So, there's an efficiency factor. So, going here, kung pedaling ko, no? Only 25% of that. So, for example, if you spend like 100 watts or, or you consume 100 watts for pedaling, only 25 watts is actually converted into actual work. Okay? Under more difficult conditions, kono, efficiency may even drop down to 5%. Here's an example you mentioned. Meaning, kung 300 watts ang konsumo ni mo, at 25% efficiency, physical work output is only 75 watts for a sustained 8 to 10 hour work day. Sustained na siya. Okay? Continuous. Like I said, you can have bursts of power like katong magbangag up to 1,000 watts ang imuhang konsumo. So, 25% of 1,000 watts, you are actually making work worth 250 watts pero these are only for short periods okay going back to this one 160 ra na short periods pero continuous na about na lang mga utsinta na lang ganin ubos na kayo so din he physical work output is only 75 watts for a sustained 8 to 10 hour work day so money ang formula sa efficiency output divided by input times 100% Okay, so ang efficiency nga, diri nga side, 
pila may workout put. So, for example, example, kung tahay, okay, give me the answer. Say, manggabang ka, hoeing, hoeing, 300 to 500, 400 watts ang energy consumption at a 25% nga efficiency pila man ang imohang actual work output. You type in the comments sa inyohang answers. Okay, again, hoeing, manggabang, say 400 watts ang imong energy consumption kung by 5% ra ang imohang efficiency pila man ang imohang actual work output. All right, so I'll wait for your comments. Okay, there's the formula again. I'll wait for your responses, ha? Sa comments. Be. Answer. Kung manggabang, 300 to 500 man to, ibutang talang 400 watts ang rate of energy consumption. Kung 25% ra mo hang efficiency, pila may actual work output ni mo. Sustained work output. Wala pa man. Kapuliki pag-compute. Minimize, ha? Minimize. Come on. I'm waiting. Kids, you there? Asa na mo? Wala may nakatingog lagi. Hello? 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 Wala may nakatingog. Wala mo may answer? Okay. Be, wala yung nakatingog. Again. Oh, kung 25% ang efficiency, di rin na siya nga part. Uh, kung ang energy input na to is 400 watts, pila man ang atong work output. Ala, kalimot na sila. 100, sir. Wrong. Ang 100. Okay. Nga nung wrong man. I'll show you. 100, sir. Ah, wrong, ligging 100. Come on, Karan. Okay. Efficiency in percent. Oi. Oi. Is equal to output. Divided by input or arin na ko ibutang ring output times 100% over input. Okay? Duhar ka mong king answer. Or we could say efficiency, okay, is equal to. Output Result mo good name Over Ano lang ni Dere Dere Over Pila ang input Sir 400 Lagi 400 ang input 400 Efficiency Over 100 Percent Is equal to Output Over input. So, uh, output 
is equal to okay efficiency times input over 100 percent or output is equal to an efficiency of 25 percent times the input of 400 watts over 100 percent equals output nga 25 percent over 100 percent 0.25 na lang times 400 watts correct answer is 100 watts muna siya wrong ang 100 bida wala pa dyan mo nagmatngon mga pagani na akong gi kuha ninyo ok another point ayaw in town kalimti ang unit that's the reason why na wrong ang 100 ni Dodong Arlon di hap tayo sa nag answer iyang gi kuha na lang gi delete iyang comment kang kinsa to kay na ulaw na naghuna huna na siya huwag mayo nga pila da isakto nga answer sayo plaging 100 100 watts muna ay correct answer ok kung sa may realization ah, dili lagi ng 100 sir 100 sir no? sa gatos ko buk maestro ok ha <laughs> igo mo no so always remember this one ha when you are computing for something Please do not forget the units. Pagani paghisgot na to sa unit conversion, karon makalimot na mo ang unit. Gahisgot ang watts. Ang inyong answer final, 100 raw. Walay watts. Okay ka na, Jessica. 100 watts. Magkasinabot na dihan dapita. Ha? Oh, that's why na wrong ang 100 ninyo. Kay, wala mo units. Pagani paghisgot na to units. Pagkabating gulan yun ninyo. Ha? Oh, timan e na, timan e na, timan e, hindi na lagi magahig ulo lagi. Anya, karon, present na mo sa attendance, niya mo graduate na mo, niya di mo kabalo, mabutangan na unit ng final answer, tarong na ang agriculturist. Hindi, hindi. Okay? So, these are lessons na ginagmay that you need to remember. Okay? Do not forget the unit. So, always dapat na ang unit. Dahil na, Okay, not any. Well, that's that's a very easy computation. But, but again, do not forget the unit. So we're talking about work output. Correct answer for that is 100 watts. No, gamay na lang kayo, no? You are consuming 400 watts, pero ang actual work output is only 100 watts. It's so low. Ubus kayo. That's one of the main limitations of human power. Also, my plus factors. Bisan ang humans ko no bate. Kay gamay ra kayo og power. I already have mentioned kaganiha. One kalabaw, one baka, one kabayo is approximately five to seven persons nga equivalent in terms of power nga iyahang ma-produce. Okay? Pero, dun ay plus factors ang human labor. Uy, guys. Uh, please comment sabi inyo hang preference o asa maayo ang mag Padayon ta sa FB Live, mag-Google Meet ta, or mag-Zoom ta. Comment. So, there are right now 28 na po. Nang putol-putol siguro ang uban. Nga dili maka-join. Okay, so, please comment. I, I'd, I'd like to see all your comments. Kanang naa ka ron. Okay, so there are 28, 26 na lang. So, I'd like to see on sa inyo hang preference. Kamutanan, please comment. Okay, again, ang question nako is... Ako yung type ha. Prefer. Google Meet. Zoom. Or. FB Live. Okay. Sige ko na. Comment ha. FB Live so far. Ang uban. Comment palihog. Sige, padayin lang ha. Mo, padayin kong discuss. I'll expect your comments to come in slowly. Hinay-hinay lang. Uh, ako lang padayuno ni siya ang kuan. Padayon ko sa discussion. Comment lang mo. Okay. Na-plus factors ang 
human labor na plus factors ang human labor dili pud sa tanan panahon nga bati ang tao ha okay ang main limitation sa human power is number one god is it's a power source nga gamay ra kaayo og power nga ikahatag okay mo gyud main limitation next nga limitation sa humans as a source of power is kinahanglan siya mo pahuway okay again ang main limitation sa human power as a source of farm power is number one, it's a very low source gamay ra kayo source of power gamay ra kayang mahatag and then kinahanglan siya pahuway on the other hand do na siya advantages ang advantages niya are the ones that you can find on your screen okay first ko no is humans adopt a working mode that incorporates appropriate rest periods to mo instantaneously adjusts force to exert to accomplish a task three chooses the most appropriate tools machines for a certain task and four changes from tasks from one task to another readily and rationally okay kun sa may but pasabot ini padayon lang sa comments padayon lang sa comments mo adapt kuno og working mode nga mo incorporate appropriate nga rest periods ang makina magsigire ginag under ang kalabaw gusto na namo pahuway nya imong pugson mulubog na kuno nagahi na kuno nagulo madugay i have tried one time nagdaro na dua dua karon uh, ang kalabaw murag budagan ang humans on the other hand is kita ray kasabot na ta og kapoy na ta o pahuway ta di ba unlike sa engines ang engines magandar na siya although natay radiator or whatever o padayon ra gyud siya andar hangtod mouth dan ba gasolina or naay maguba ang person kato kong dimension homeostasis di ay kaganiha we adapt a certain working mode such that ma maintain nato ang homeostasis nato meaning we do not want our systems to fail so if it's too hot we stop we relax you rest you drink water to cool down that's a good thing about humans as a source of power second automatic ta mo adjust sa ato ang force nga gi-exert kini ha example example kuntahay mo punit kag itlog itlog ba ilagid mo itlog imo yung kumuton ang itlog aron mapusa dili it's because you know it's delicate di ba so ang force nga atong gi-exert kay depende sa gikinahanglan ana nga ta so for example mag magpala ka og loose nga soil o magpala ka og bantok nga soil or gravel ang amount of force nga inyong i-apply will depend og unsa ka gahia inig pala magpala kag tae dinhi mo pala biag kusog kay madala ra man gina basa basa magpala ka og graba gahi mo na kayo, iduot po din mo ang pala. Just like sundang, magputol kag pichay, ihiwa rin mo. Pero magputol kag kahoy, ihapos din mo mayo ang sundang. Okay? Machines do not do that. They are applying the same amount of force given the amount of energy nga imong i-input nila. So, for example, gasolina. Imong gasolinahan, maura na siya. A humans, on the other hand, automatic tamo adjust. Kung Like I said, mupunit kag delicate nga material like like itlog, uh, dili mo palabian og kuan. Okay? Unya og kanang kinahanglan gyud nga og dako nga force, applyan pud na mo ni mo og dako nga force. So, rational ang tao. Third, third, this one. Mupili pud og appropriate tools for a certain task. Oh, mo ni siya. Bright boy maning tao. Magdala jud ay kag tangke digira kung mopatay kag langaw. I don't think so. Okay? So, automatically, ang person or humans as a source of power, we choose the right tool for a certain task. So, kung langaw ay mong pat yun, ah, flies water na itong gamiton. Dili siguro tangki ni Gira. So, mo, rational ba? Rational nga, nga thinker ang tao. Mag, for example, pahakuton kag tubig, ipapuno ang swimming pool, dili siguro kutsara ay mong gamiton. Kaya abdan kag siyam-siyam na, di ba? So maybe ang pinaka-appropriate na mangita kag hose o multiple nga hoses o balde-balde to kay po kay mapuno. So inga na, that, that's the good thing about humans as a source of power. Finally, 
mo move ta from one task to another readily or rationally rapod unlike sa sa animals ah uh, bira kay bira regina bira kay bira regina for draft animals for when we say kanang bira kanang draft guyod mo na siya that's why it's called draft animal so bira regina kay bira na sila mabugat na magaan ah bira regina people on the other hand is igtanaw nga kina na abot na ta mohunong ta imong idiskarga imong karga o yan na ba unlike sa animals unlike sa unlike sa ang sayo nga ini tuan engines so muna yung main nga mga advantages sa humans as a source of farm power okay draft animal technology next na nina ito itakol so next meeting ato nang itakol ni ang draft animal technology niya basin later or ugma I will be uh, giving you a task para nga naamoy trabaho on board unya right now uh, based on the responses uh, I see nga most of you are uh, pref prefer FB Live uh, mainly ang advantage yod, uh, the, the reason also why I chose this one is pwede ninyo balikan pwede ninyo balikan ang um, interaction yes might be a problem with this but after some time we will get used to it naman siguro so ako put partly um, kumbaga initially I'm not that comfortable but after some time ma maana dramanta so how much more pag yun siguro ng mga vloggers gani sa YouTube nga ang iyang kaistorya ang camera ra yun uh, at least ako kung live I can see your comment so Please keep those comments coming. Do na may mga question. Idikso lang o butang. Again, remember, sa ako ang reminders din yung kaganiya, ha? Basin di ay o ang inyuhang sense of values maoy sa'yo. Okay? It's not about the attendance. It's not about the grades. It's not about the degree. Okay? It's about you being a better person ugma or in the near future. So, I would be more than glad and happy no kung mas daghan mo nga mo attend or mas mo participate mo kay para ra man sa inyo hang kaayuhan unya like i said i i hate the pug i i hate people not following instructions so we can start there okay we are i'm trying to make our lives a little bit easier kantong medyo short sa 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 technology like for example both signal or load or even ang device pangita mo paagi kay tanan pabor gihatag na ninyo okay tanan pabor gihatag na ninyo if you have questions i do understand na ay uban mo prefer o google meet pero mas daghan ang fb live uh, i think the main reason pod like i said kaganiha is i i chose fb live because you can go back to it even on, on a later time uh, another advantage of FB is kahalos kamutanan, okay, maka-open ra anytime. Uh, I don't like chat or group chat. Okay? Like I said, uh, sa akong utok na associate na nako ang chat sa mga old acquaintances nga makakita ni mo online. Niya mo, yung, Hi, Rach, kumusta ka? Ay, na. Or clean din ako sa shop mga bahin paon or bahin computer pero akong estudyante samok na kaayo daghan ya second og chat good matabunan ang previous ng mga queries okay so please stick to a post on our group sa sulod sa group ha pag post mo and then email that's okay i do respond to email still you can reach me uh, every day i open my mail every day i i open fb um, every day I open Messenger, but I hesitate to respond to Messenger. Ha, dili kay samok. Post something on our group. I can find it. I will react to it. Uh, although I hate stupid questions, but it's okay. Just ask it. Total wak may mawala niyo gi kasabad mo, wak mapisohan mo, may mag, di ba? Wak ganit na kita kalayo raninyo. It's a good example po sa uban. So. Uh, it's good to choose your questions properly, of course. Uh, but it's not wrong to ask questions. So, by all means, just ask me questions. Yeah, kana raman siguro. This time, I don't know if you have questions pa. Uh, two hours na put da. I'll get back to you again next meeting na Okay? 
So like I said, I'd be happy if we can increase the attendance, actual attendance sa ato ang live live nga klase. If not, it, still it's okay. It's okay really. I, I'm not uh, kana siyang tawag ani. Uh, pa sabot nga obligatory on your part because some of you uh, wala na follow ang schedule ang uban lang. Okay? And then I may give you some activities put para sa ato ang lab later on. Alright, so I think the real at the Thank you so pag attend. Right now I have 26 nga watchers alive sa responses 68. Uh, for the attendance sheet, I will close this one onya pa mga alas So you inform the others katong wala pa naka attendance uh, to sign up para maka attendance mo. Okay, bye bye. See you next week po hon. Alright, sige. I'm ending the broadcast na. Bye bye. See you next week.